Okay, so RIP Chrome OS and welcome Google's new desktop OS. I mean, I know Chrome OS isn't exactly dead, but hey, it isn't exactly alive either. So Google is doing what everyone's been expecting them to do for a long, long time now. Introduce a new laptop desktop OS called Aluminium OS, I like that name, to take on Macs and Windows, and this is gonna be big. Now, to know how big, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, just do it. And this actually has potential to be huge, so let's get into detail. Oh, so before we take a look at the new aluminium OS or whatever it's called eventually, I really hope it's aluminium OS, I know the question is, why exactly a new desktop OS? Well, to be honest, Chrome OS never really took off. I mean, it got better over the years with proper windowing, task manager, progressive web apps, Linux support was always there, and even Android apps from Play Store, all of that. But you know what, the lack of app support, Android apps running inside a sandbox, web apps being slow AF, and the overall average hardware in Chromebooks meant that it never really became a solid alternative to Macs or Windows. And that's where this new OS comes in. And instead of, you know, fixing Chrome OS, Google is actually doing the smarter thing. They're building a new laptop OS on top of Android. And aluminum OS will be Google's fusion of Android and Chrome OS. And the good news is the new desktop mode in Android actually gives us a good look of what it's gonna be like. See, Pixel phones, there's a new option in developer options that lets you enable the new desktop mode. And this is pretty close to what Android as a desktop OS would look like. I mean, check here, you get a very Chrome OS style app list, but obviously all apps here are native Android, so no web apps, no extra layers, everything runs directly. And that means it's faster, smoother. You also get full app features, like see the camera app, for example, or even Gemini, which is Gemini Live built in, something you don't get in the web wrapper on Chrome OS. And when you resize app, the content adjusts properly like it does on an Android tablet or a folding phone, way better than Chrome OS. And it has a full desktop feel. I mean, I can connect a mouse, a keyboard, it has external display support. And then there's all the good windowing options. As you can see, you can resize apps freely, use multiple floating windows, or even run apps in split screen. And there's also this dock AK taskbar at the bottom. And you can even have multiple desktop spaces, one for work, one for fun, you know, and you can switch between them quickly without things getting messy. And I know this will remind you a lot of Samsung DeX because yes, the desktop mode is actually built on the same foundation as DeX itself. And I know this is still in beta, so desktop is not customizable. Chrome is not the desktop version of Chrome, so no extensions. The quick settings are still not optimized for the biggest screen. And when you think about it, this actually fixes some of the biggest problems we had with Chrome OS, like support for more powerful hardware since it's literally Android itself, support for better graphics thanks to Vulkan in Android. And this is just the UI, a quick look at the UI. And what makes Aluminum OS actually exciting is that it's supposed to be built from the scratch, from the ground up for laptops and desktops. And that means there's more than what meets the eye. See, at the Snapdragon Summit in September 2025, Google confirmed that they want to bring the entire Android stack to the PC market, including Gemini models, assistants, the entire Android app ecosystem. Google also confirmed that they are working with Qualcomm on this entire project. So maybe, just maybe, Aluminum OS laptops will be powered by Snapdragon X chips too, yeah? Now, Google also says that Aluminum OS is being built with AI at the core, so maybe phone-like AI features, deep Gemini integration, on-device AI, LLMs, all of that's going to be there, which honestly brings me to something a lot more interesting. It's the time to Disco. So Disco is Google's new AI part browser, still very early, very limited, and currently US only, but it's actually crazy, bad shit crazy. So Disco actually understands the links you open, the tabs you open, and merges all of them into a single interactive app called GenTab. So instead of reading like 10 articles, watching three videos on the same topic, everything comes all together in this one live tool for you. And Google has already shown off what it can do. Like if you're searching for a bed in your room, the prices, the different sizes, etc., Disco can turn all those tabs into a bed comparison tool with a visualizer. So you compare options, see how much space it takes, all in one place. Or if you're planning a trip and have, say, tens of tabs around it, it can make a live travel planner for you with all the places you want to visit, map the routes, you can even ask it to add new info like tell you the weather for each day of the trip or you know add restaurants on the way and all of it happens on the go. So this is not like the summaries you get on ChatGPT or Perplexity or even Gemini. This is you interactive with one live tool which has all the information from like hundreds of tabs. And yeah, you can even use it for learning 
doing things in a more visual way or heck even play games. So you can do 90% of your things just inside this browser. And when Google talks about Alum and Moises core AI features, they might actually be talking about this very browser more than the OS. I mean, this is something that would actually give Google a weapon to compete with the Mac OS and Windows out there. And at the end of the day, it's Android. So yeah, it should work seamlessly with our Android tablets and phones, so, you know, clipboard sharing, file sharing, notifications. Everything should work seamlessly. I mean, that just makes too much sense to not happen. I know there are some big questions like the older Chromebooks, will they get this in an update? Spoiler alert, I don't think so. Your uh, Celeron laptop will support this. And that brings me to the other question. Will this only be part of budget laptops or more premium laptops as well? See, I don't think I have all the answers right now, obviously, but we do have some big hints. I mean, as per Google's internal bug reports, they've already started calling the current version of Chrome OS, Chrome OS Classic. Yeah, not exactly classic. So yeah, Aluminum OS is clearly the future. They've also planned different performance tiers like AL Mass Premium, AL Premium, and AL Entry. So yeah, this is not just for cheap Chromebooks anymore. The premium laptops are a part of the plan. And whether this means that there's a difference in different feature sets, that's something we don't know yet. And leaks also suggest it is already being tested on Intel and MediaTek Power devices. And as we already talked about, Google is working with Qualcomm too. So yeah, everything's on the table. Now, when is this OS actually coming? See, Google has confirmed that this new OS is coming in 2026. So maybe, maybe the Google I.O., which is usually in May. But yeah, the big picture is we will have these new Google's laptop, OS-based laptops in 2026, probably by the end of the year. And those will probably be called uh, books. aluminum books. Look, to be honest, I don't really care about the name, but I do really hope that Google gets this right, creates a new desktop laptop OS that feels fresh, looks fresh, has unique features that we haven't really seen before. Because let's face it, the more the competition, the more the innovation, and more the software really. I really want Google to not mess up the hardware. Maybe do something like what Intel did with the Evo certification so that not anyone can just slap this OS on a random, cheap-ass Celeron laptop. Or maybe it's time to bring the Pixelbook back from the dead. But yeah, no, 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 no tensile. Hell no.